Hi, so I wanted to make a little bit of like a commentary audio voiceover unscripted, just giving my very quick thoughts of Linkin Park currently and the major issue that I have personally noticed with their modern era because the album is officially out to the public and I've gone on the record saying many times that Linkin Park were one of the bands that got me into music, that got me into heavier forms of music. Of course, they shaped an entire generation and they just hold a very sacred place in my heart. And so so I wanted to just wear my heart on my sleeve and give my genuine opinions of this. I personally feel like Emily Armstrong had a lot of controversy and polarization surrounding her. I talked at length on this channel about how I didn't really like the background of her and I felt like trying to fill Chester's shoes was always going to be a lofty task, but people should give her a fair shake, but that I was pretty disappointed in the band, specifically Mike, for reigniting Chester's memory in that way. But my major issue with this record and with Linkin Park in the modern era is I feel like they are trying so desperately to cling on to old Linkin Park and sort of service the fans in a way that kind of backfired on them. You are never going to be old school Linkin Park and people even complained about later era Linkin Park like the One More Light era because they felt like it was sacrificing some of the things that made them who they were and I feel like on this record it is very very efficient. It is well produced. It's squeaky clean. It's very catchy at points. There's multiple chords that get stuck in my head. I feel like a lot of the chemistry between Mike and Emily are good. Uh, Emily does a great job of picking up the reins of a lot of what Chester was able to do. Mike takes over a lot more vocal duties and just overall the crunchy instrumentation, the catchy melodies, the alt metal instrumentation, it is there. And yet it still comes out the other side sounding and feeling hollow and empty and sort of vapid. And I personally kind of treat it like bubble gum where I'm enjoying it in the moment, but after multiple listens of this record, I feel like there is something drastically missing, and I understand it's easy to look at face value and say that, oh, it's because Chester's not in the band anymore, therefore their quality decreased and they're not good anymore. I don't necessarily think it's that simple. I think it's more so that they are trying so hard to give the fans what they want by taking so many different qualities from past Lincoln Park and putting them together in a very bastardized form. You are never going to be able to fill the shoes of Chester, and you're also never going to be able able to reignite that era. The whole point of bringing back Linkin Park was to pave the way for a new sound, for a new wave, and even though these songs are still instantly recognizable and instantly identifiable as Linkin Park, they still feel so unoffensive and so non-raw and they don't have any life or primality to them, they don't have the same level of angst or intensity, and most of the time it feels like wallpaper. And the weird thing is, this record isn't bad, the songs are objectively very well put together, very meticulously put together. They clearly spent a lot of time, money, energy, effort, blood, sweat, and tears making this record as good as it possibly can be. And even lifelong fans of Linkin Park that have sold their soul to listen to this band over the years can acknowledge the fact that something just feels wrong and weird and off and off kilter. And even with like reviewers and publications that can look at this record and say musically it is fine, they're still coming out the other side feeling like it is neutral. And the best analogy I have been using when I've talked to people is it feels like Linkin Park are a cover band of themselves somehow. I'm not entirely sure how that's possible or how that happened, but that's the only way I can explain it. It feels like Linkin Park are trying to make this weird amalgamation of all of the different qualities from their time period instead of trying to make a new era and carve a new path for the future. And it feels like they are just trying to make something for the future fans, but it backfired a little bit, because even people that love Linkin Park that are enjoying this record because it is a new Linkin Park material feel like it is just missing something very crucial to the formula, and I'm not even talking about the fact that it's not Chester anymore, because I don't think it's that simple to just say that you can lose a frontman and it rocks the band that much. Obviously, he was the lifeblood of this band, but there have been so many bands over the decades that have lost a very crucial genre-defining front and still bounce back because they don't try to be the old era. They try to take the band in a new direction. And does that mean changing all the hallmarks and completely redefining their style and forsaking everything that was traditional about them? Absolutely not. They are still very clearly Linkin Park, but by the same token, there comes a point where you feel like you are worshiping your past self in a way that makes people ask, well, why am I not just listening to the old shit if the end result is going to be something that feels 
feels so neutral and homogenous and at points lifeless. While I do recognize and acknowledge that it's really awesome to have Linkin Park back, and I appreciate the fact and respect the fact and admire the fact that they are still kicking it and bringing this back, and I respect Mike for being able to move on in a way, I still feel like there is something missing, and I would love to see them develop in the future, or else there is going to be very few reasons to keep up with a lot of Linkin Park material in the same exciting way that you maybe did in the past. What are your guys' opinions of this topic? You can let me know down in the comment section below, agree or disagree, there is no wrong answer. What are your opinions of the new album, as well as the general state of Linkin Park? Let me know down in the comment section below. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to join the review family today, and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is, my name is Jay Morris, and I'm signing off saying farewell.